Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is June 27th, 2023. It's supposed to be pretty hot today in the low 80s, I think. But we were blessed with a nice amount of rain a few days ago. We got rain for a couple days and we wound up with not quite an inch and a half. And that was just a huge blessing. It was, it come perfectly. It was a nice slow rain soaked in good. Everything kind of greened up and jumped up. So um, that was just wonderful to, to have that. And we're still, we're still praying. I mean, we still need rain here. And we're still praying for all those who are still dry that haven't gotten any yet. Because that's, that's a terrible thing. And it sounds like maybe we got a couple more rainy days coming up here the next couple days. But what we're doing now is uh, hooking up the feeder wagon here. Got the little bee farm all on there. We've got a field south of the farm here. It's about three, four acres. I seeded it in last year, I think. But the seeding didn't take real well. There's some alfalfa in it and some quack grass and stuff. Um, but I'm just green chopping it. We got the flail chopper down there. I'll show you that when we get down there. And uh, we'll head down there and do some flail chop. All right, we made it down here to the field. Um, this is where we're flail chopping here. Now, I'll probably get some questions asking why I'm doing this instead of just letting the cows graze it off. Um, this isn't fenced down here, and it would be pretty expensive to get this fenced, so it's just a lot, a lot cheaper for me to just run down here and do this. Um, and the reason that we're doing this, just with the dry weather we've had, the pasture that they're on is pretty much, pretty much gone. It actually... It got dry enough where they clipped off what was green and, and the rest kind of died. So that's what we're doing with this. Hopefully with the rain coming, maybe the pasture will rebound a little bit. But um, it's, a, it's a good use for this. If I cut this and, and let it dry down to bale it, I'd have to feed it anyway. So uh, that's what we're using the flail chopper for. And you can see like right here is a really thin spot. Um, there's some clover, some alfalfa. Some of the spots down there, it's heavier. Uh, you'll see that when we're chopping. Justin's down here with me, practicing his tractor driving on the bee. How's that going? Good. Here's our flail chopper. It's just an old bear cat. Nothing real fancy, but it does the job. I got it on the 12. Um, I wouldn't need this big of a tractor on there, but that's what I had available. So that's what we put on there. I wasn't using it for anything else right now. And you probably see... I don't know how well it shows up on camera. It's cutting kind of jagged, a little bit high. Um, the reason that is, is because I'm actually, I am cutting purposely a little bit higher just because there's a few spots out here where there was some knobs and this flooded this spring too. So I think there's a couple spots where there's some sandbars. So I'm just holding it up there to try to avoid picking up that dirt and sand or scalping the ground. So it cuts a little bit more jagged when you're raising it up, but. Anyway, we'll get the tractor fired up and get hooked up.
there's our load of feed. That'll tide them over for a little while. I'll probably have to chop some again tonight, but uh, they definitely like it. I started chopping last night, yesterday, and uh, they've been cleaning it right up, so that's good. So we'll get Justin went to get the tractor, we'll get hooked up and pull it out, and then we'll let the cows out. Ready? back up in the yard here I had another little something I wanted to do a little bit of a video on but it wasn't really enough to make a full video so I thought I'd throw it in here um, our last video we had our auction video and I always love those videos because you get such a wide variety of comments you know about some of them will be how cheap stuff went the other one stuff was really high it's kind of neat to see everybody's different perspectives of what stuff brought a lot of comments we get is um, I shouldn't say a lot but there's a fair number um of just that's all junk you know i wouldn't farm with that old stuff in our area we scrap that stuff it's it's useless it's junk 
Um, some of the stuff there, yeah, it's there for parts or scrap buyers to buy. Um, but a lot of it is bought to be used again. And I was just looking at our little farm I'll be here, and this is a perfect example. Um, this tractor's 77 years old. It's looked like this my whole life. You know, for 40 years, this is how it's looked. In 40 years, very little has been done to this tractor. My grandpa put a set of rings in it many years, you know, probably about 40 years ago. That's about all that's done, been done to the engine, other than your oil changes. I did go through and rebuild the governor uh, on it a couple years ago and belts um just your little bit of maintenance stuff tires but otherwise this tractor has been pretty sound for 77 years old uh this is probably the smoothest running best starting tractor on the whole farm um maybe not the most comfortable to ride on but why would i throw it away you know um this tractor owes owes this farm nothing owes me nothing um I can put this on the five bar bar rake. I can go out and rake hay. I can put it on our Vermeer two basket tether and go ted hay, um, haul feeder wagons, lots of little jobs. I've unloaded chopper boxes with this tractor. Um, you know, lots of that little stuff that, um, you know, why would I buy a brand new tractor to do those jobs when this, uh, this runs just fine, you know, and, um, it's it just to me makes no sense it's it seems like we get more in a throwaway society these days where well it doesn't look pretty anymore it's not comfortable and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with going out and buying a new tractor if you can or if you want to that's that's fine but to say something like this is just junk and should be thrown away to me is uh is is kind of a waste and it's a it's a shame you know this tractor there's a lot of history in this tractor. I have a lot of memories on this tractor. Um, you know, farming with my grandpa and my sister and brothers and stuff, parents over the years. So I just wanted to touch a little bit on that. Um, and like I said, I have nothing against having new ones, but you know, I, I in an instance like this, I, I don't see the reason for it, but if some people do, that's all right too. But I just wanted to touch on that a little bit because that's one comment that we always get that I think is kind of interesting how how different areas of the world view different stuff. So anyway, we'll go see if the cows are munching on their hay yet. Honestly, I'm more nervous about those two than those two. Though they be small, they be crazy. Who's two? Joshua and Saint. I think him and